Good morning, everyone. It is a beautiful morning here in Las Vegas, and me and Michael are just uh, admiring our beautiful view of the pool chair storage area. So many beautiful chairs. The only thing you could see with this view is the nicer side of the hotel, the Palazzo, and they're like, hey, you could have stayed here and had a beautiful view, but no, you chose cheaper side with the pool storage chairs. <laughs> so I'm gonna check out what the gym situation is here because it is a beautiful day outside. I'm feeling good. I wanna start the day with some gym action. Then we're gonna get some food and we're gonna uh, explore some more of Vegas before rehearsal dinner tonight. So let's do it. Workout complete. Breakfast has been eaten. I'm ready to go, feeling good. However, I have run into a teeny tiny potential problem. So I recently bought this, uh, this piece of gear called a Zion Crane, something like that, Zion Crane. And basically what it is, is it's a stabilizer. So you get really, really smooth shots. <laughs> The plane ride to Atlanta to Vegas is like five and a half hours, which is way past my attention span. So I was getting really bored, so I was like, oh my gosh, let me fire up my Zion Crane and get some awesome B-roll shots while on the plane. And the shots were awesome. I loved how they turned out. I thought they were really cool. But the only problem is I left my charger. I guess it fell out of my bag or something, but I left my charger for the batteries on the airplane. These look like normal batteries that you would get at the store. However, on both sides, they're flat. Normally a normal battery will have a side that's like a male side and a female side. This looks like this is like female female. I'm gonna try to go to the store and just get some normal batteries, maybe they'll work, but this kind of, uh, that kind of worries me the fact that it's flat on both sides. So, I am crossing my fingers, hoping that those batteries are gonna work. You gotta make the call. Alright, moment of truth, and... Nothing. It does not work. So comparing the two, the Zion battery is definitely longer and wider. I just thought I'd give it a try anyway. So doing some research online, the Zion Crane batteries can last anywhere from 6 to 12 hours. It actually says 6 to 12 hours operating time, respectively. Whatever that means. So it just kind of depends on how heavy your camera is, how heavy your lens is, how hard it's working, etc. Six to 12 hours, that's like a huge gap. Like that's a six hour gap. I don't really know how to calculate how heavy my camera is and lens is in comparison to other setups. I probably used it for like three hours. So at the very minimum, I should have about three more hours tomorrow on wedding day with this gimbal, which will give me enough time to do everything that I need to do. But lesson learned here, if you bring a gimbal with special batteries, do not forget the charger on the plane. Don't do that. All right, enough of this. It's time to go explore a little bit more of Vegas. We are about to leave and check out Caesar's Palace. Um, and I hear it's very nice there. So um, let's go to Caesar's Palace. Took a much needed nap. We are about to go out and film. Pace is the lighting guy. Pace, show them evidence of the light. Too bright! All right, we are doing the last shoot of the day. I'm in the back of their awesome convertible and uh, we're just gonna drive through Las Vegas. You probably can't hear me because of all the wind, but it's gonna be amazing! 